Hi, it's Gordon here at Avelite, and I'm going to take you through some playback options that you have inside your console. Soft key B in your normal program menu is always playback options. If you ever don't see this and you want to get access to it, then you can either tap exit or you can hold down the Avelite's button and tap exit. If I tell the console I want to change some playback options, I can then select a playback and change how that playback behaves. Here you can see that this playback that I've selected has now gone red. That means it's listening for an instruction. Playback options and select a standard playback and you'll get some different options. Here I have a chase, I have a cue list and I just have a standard playback. This playback window, you can customize a lot of how these things behave. I can choose things like run on startup, this means that as soon as Titan is booted, either on a console or on your computer, this information will come out. You can choose whether you'd like a flash fade in or a flash fade out time that we've covered in the key profiles video. If I say playback options and I select a chase, then it's gonna give me some specific options related to chases. Here you can see things like play order, Rather than just my chase happening the same direction, step one, step two, step three, I could have it bounce. So it goes one, two, three, two, one. I can also choose things like loop action. The moment a chase is set to loop by default. I can choose to stop on final cue. This means that after it gets to the last step in that chase, it will not continue going. Every single playback option now has an icon next to it. If you're ever not sure what these playback options do, click on that icon and you'll get a detailed explanation. This is also where you can set custom release masks if you wish. You can also change how any particular handle behaves. Handle paging is a commonly asked question here at Avalites and handle paging can make your life a bit easier. At the moment, this handle is set to unlocked this means this chase will just appear on this playback, on this page. If I change that to locked and come out, then whatever page I'm on, this chase is always going to be on that playback one for me. To change that again, I can say playback options, select that playback. I can then decide that the handle should be unlocked from now on. In key profiles, we'll go through how to assign individual key profiles just to these specific playbacks. But you can always check whether the key profile for any playback is set to global or it's set to one of your custom key profiles. If I say playback options and select a cue list, I'm gonna get some more options for this. You can see the same ones that you've, you can expect as before with things like run on startup. Here, because it's a cue list, we've got some custom options related to things like moving dark. We also have loop action. Loop action is relevant for both chases and cue lists because there's a number of steps inside them. We've gone through things like kill with off, kill at zero in a previous training video, but you've also got the option to fire first cue, which might be quite useful. This means as soon as that is turned on, when I bring up this playback, it will fire the first cue straight away. Playback options and using the hard keys on your console, you can also select a number of playbacks at once if you want to change a number of them at the same time. Things like priorities, if used well, can really, really make programming your show and operating your show a lot easier. There's five levels of priority inside Titan. Programmer is the second highest. If I change this playback to have a very high priority, it means even if I'm trying to control these lights in the programmer, this playback will take over. So this playback will be above the level of the programmer. Next time you're behind Titan, have a look through some of these playback options and see which ones could be useful to you. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.